Hello there, welcome to Chipola College. This is Sports Talk, or it might be the Coach's Sports Talk, because we have with us today Coach Jim Hendricks with the Chipola Lady Indian Softball. Coach, how are you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? Well, now, uh, this fall y'all played a lot of games. How many games can y'all play in the fall? Well, we can play 10 dates. Uh, we can play 10 days. So you could play more than one game we, on that day? We can play more than one game uh, on that day. D do most of the colleges do what we do? As uh, most as colleges... They play uh, some of what we do. They just don't play who we play. Well, do you, when you say who, now I know who you play because I've been with you a good time. But you play those big schools that you know when you go that they're probably going to kick your butt. Why do you want to do that? Well, uh, we get our kids. Um, one, well, we we talk about breaking them in. Uh, one, <laughs> a lot of the kids that we recruit are you know the best players, uh, and they're on some of the best teams. So they come in and they get beat right away and. Uh, then it kind of shows you who they are, um, you know, how they're going to react and, uh, in the crucial situations. And then it also helps us, um, you know, work harder. Uh, we don't take it easy. What, what about showing off our girls to those schools? It, it does. It, it helps our kids get recruited. I know we've got, you know, a couple kids uh, last year that uh, ended up going to four-year schools that we played during the fall. You know, we've got a kid at South Carolina uh, from last year's team. Well, when you face that team, do you play it just like you would a normal game? We pretty much. It's pretty close. I mean, there's some, some rule difference where there's some free substitution, um, where there's not technically a lineup. Um, yeah. But it's pretty close. Well, I noticed when we played Florida after we hit a home run against them uh, last year, not this fall, but the last fall before that, they tightened up and put their older kids that were older than we were in there. Uh, Georgia Tech did it the last mm -hmm. inning and beat us. We were up on them, what, was 62 or 5 to 62. 2? And then they beat us in the last inning. But they would have beat anybody in the last inning. Well, the next question is, uh, it's semester time. This show will be running through the month of December. When do you actually start working for the spring game? Well, we'll start um, We'll start practice uh, as soon as they get back from, from Christmas break. I know we yeah. start school January 7th. So we'll start some conditioning then. I think our first official uh, practice date is January 10th. Uh, yeah. to where we get on the field, but we'll do some conditioning oh. uh, leading what up to that. Define practice. What is practice? Practice is bats and balls uh, is what we, you know, really. So conditioning is not considered a practice? No, it, it's not. And then we also, uh, prior to practice, so out of season, you get eight hours a week anyway. Yeah. So that's where we'll use our conditioning hours. Well, I've seen them running around at 6 o'clock in the morning. Is that mental or physical? Uh, it's more physical. Uh, <laughs> now, I shouldn't say there's some days it is mental. <laughs> Uh, but it is physical, you know, trying to get in shape and trying to stay in shape. Well, uh, you got any new kids coming in semester time? Uh, we're going to try. We've got two kids that we're trying to get in. Uh, i got a, a Russian kid, a left-handed pitcher, uh, that uh, plays on the Russian national team. Really? Um, and then we've got a Mexican um, catcher that's, you know, possibly going to come in that plays on the Mexican national team. Wow. Uh, just kind of fell into a situation where, you know, it, we had scholarship money and they're out there. Well, why do they want to come here, Coach? Uh, most of the international kids uh, want to come to the states to get the competition. And then once they see who we play and how we play and the competition that we do play, uh, you know, they end up coming to Chipola because, you know, we're going to play the best and we're going to try to be the best. Who did we play the best against in the fall? Do you remember off the top of your head? The best team we played? No, the best that we played against somebody. Better well, we, we uh, you know, we, we beat the teams we should have beat. Yeah. Um, you know, we beat some of the mid-majors. Uh, Ole Miss, uh, I think, beat us 11 to two. Uh, we're up again this year on Georgia Tech. We're up uh, <laughs> five to nothing this year, and uh, we put her, you know, our, some subs in and some, you know, critical situations and left them in, and uh, and you know, ended up getting beat in the seventh inning. How Actually, many, the eighth inning this year. How many pitchers you got? Uh, we got four. How many pitchers you got? We, <laughs> we, we, I, I think we got four. Uh, we've got five. Uh, pitchers. <laughs> well, now she's uh, going to know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, but she also, you know, they play other positions. Yeah. Uh, but we've got four kids that's going to, you know, step in and, and play and pitch and uh, have a chance to help us. Well, have you got pretty well decided who's going to play where yet, or is that what we're going to No, it, it's still it, the well, biggest question, you know, if we'd have started, you know, in at the end of the fall, then we'd have probably had an idea. Yeah. Um, but this month, month and a half, uh, through Thanksgiving and through Christmas, uh, actually changes the lineup going into uh, January. Sure. Well, the last question on our short show to here, uh, why do y'all play small ball? Why don't you try to hit home runs, Coach? This last two years, we haven't hit home runs like we used to. Uh, we don't hit many. Um, 
the biggest reason uh, I think I've said it and I've heard it uh, speed shows up every day uh, every day you show up at the ballpark you, you're going to be able to run you not be able, might not be able to hit home runs so we have um, catered our team around running we run the bases well, what is this things on the fence I see the girls working on? What That's that? the new crossover symmetry. Uh, it's yeah. basically a rotator cuff, uh, you know, strengthener. shoulder strengthener. Um, <laughs> and it limits some of the overhand throwing uh, problems that you get with baseball and softball. Uh, it, it's came from baseball. It's getting into softball. Uh, we're, you know, probably one of the few uh, that's, that's starting into softball. Um, but we're getting into it where, you know, it's, even through the fall, we didn't have as many shoulder problems. Just some of the nagging stuff we usually have, we didn't have this fall. Last question. How close are we that the batters are going to have to keep one foot in the batter's box like baseball? Pretty close. It's not, the rule's not there yet, but it's, not there. it's coming. Um, and it's funny, they keep trying to quicken the game of softball. And it's already and it's less than an hour. If, you're, if you have good pitching, it's usually an hour. If you've got two good teams, uh, you know, you're... And, and I'll give an example. Uh, we can play a double header uh, before baseball plays one game. Yeah, well, that's true. Uh, we've we've started and played at the same time, and we would we could get done and be watching baseball, you know, last couple of innings. When's your first date? Uh, last weekend in January. Uh, we open up in Clearwater, but uh, then we have a uh, our first home date is Alumni Weekend, which is uh, February. Sixth and seventh, whatever that weekend is. Fifth and sixth, part. yeah, somewhere uh, right in the first. Okay, that's the first. That's alumni weekend with baseball. Uh, it's our alumni weekend. That's good. And uh, that's our first home date. And then the following weekend, we've got 19 teams coming into Mariana for that tournament. For our tournament. All right, good. Well, Coach, I appreciate you being here. Appreciate well, y'all's hard you. work. Thank you, bud. Thank you, folks. You've seen it right here on Chipola College Television. This is Chipola Athletics. Happens to be softball today, but we appreciate what our coaches do. We appreciate the opportunity to play y'all. It's going to get fun in the spring. Thank you very much.